Hi there learners, good day and welcome to our video where we are looking at Microsoft Access and specifically how to export data from uh, Microsoft Access to another program and how to import uh, files from another source into Access as well. So we're looking at exporting. Here's a typical table um, and they've actually called it table export. So how do we go about doing this? Well, when we want to export, which is what we're looking at now, you can right click on your table and you can see there's import and export. So I'm going to click on export. Uh, I'm going to select for the purpose of this video, Excel. And you can see here, I'm going to specify the name and format. So first of all, I can click on browse and I can say, well, I want to navigate and send this to the desktop. I also want it saved as export example. And I'm saving it as an Excel workbook. Again, file format, you can choose whatever you want over there. And if you want the data uh, with the formatting, right, you can do that. You can put a tick in that. If you don't want it, it's fine. We can click OK. It's been done. Do we want to save the steps? We don't have to. And we can click Close. Doesn't change anything here. However, on my desktop, what do I have? There I've got Export Example. And when I open that up, you can see there is everything that was inside of my uh, database and you can see when i scroll down i should have there we go 201 records All right so that's how i've exported from access through to an excel spreadsheet so now what i'm going to do i'm going to use the exact same file that i used for exporting and i'm going to use it now for importing All right so there i can open my table you can see my table still exactly the same so I'm going to right click on this table and I'm going to select import and I'm going to say import Excel. And I'm going to navigate to a particular document. All right, I'm going to go through um, to go and find the doc, well, the spreadsheet that I am looking for. And there it is, Act 2 Import Data. All right, it's asking me, well, uh, search for import, import the source data into a new table into the current database. Yes, I want it to be a new table. I don't want to be it to be part of this. All right, so I'm going to import the source data into a new table. Then I'm going to click OK. Now, what's important here is that it's showing me the worksheets. Okay, and click on show ranges, but we're not interested in that. We're looking at show worksheets. Because I'm going to have to, if I want all of this information, I can actually import it as individual tables. So I'm going to click on data because now they're showing me that these are the three um, worksheets. So I'm going to click next. Next. Again, they're just verifying some details with you. You can let Access choose a primary key. Or you can, you know, create your own or say no primary key, whatever you want. Click next and there you can see by default the name is data because that was the name of the worksheet. So if I click finish, click close, you can see there's my table based on the data worksheet of that spreadsheet. If I do it again, Excel, navigate to that same file and I click OK, I can now click on a different worksheet. Let's say sheet 3, no there was nothing there, extra, there's information. And click next, you know, go through everything. Um, I can then choose my own. I'm just going to choose my own primary key. Let's say medical. No. Um, let's go with surname. And you can see the default name is the name of the worksheet um, that it was in Excel. Click finish. You see, if there's a problem with the primary key, it'll tell me. All right. And click close. Um, but there again, there's my two tables and this is how we import um, data from our excel spreadsheet into microsoft access